All right, today I'm back with some updates on a Linux-based project that I'm working on that's controlling a remote claw machine for a big YouTuber, Charlie, aka Moist Critical. And this has been quite a fun project. There's a lot going on here, but first off, I wanna mention that I just hit 50,000 subscribers and I think that's pretty awesome. Thanks to everyone who's been following along as I've been creating Linux videos for years now. As more and more of you continue to learn and interact with the channel, I'm happy to say that I've been doing this for years now. With over 50,000 subscribers now and 687 videos, Videos. I'm excited to bring more. So thanks for being a part of the journey and I'll continue to bring more Linux content to you. For those of you that are unaware, in a previous video, I talk about how I'm working on a project with another engineer. We're gonna call him Soup. And I wanted to give an update on the entire project and show you a video of how we recently scared Charlie on stream. But we're gonna visit that one later as we're gonna first focus on what's been done here. So some updates on the status. I've zoomed in a little bit here as we've put much focus on the hardware portion of this entire project. The idea here was to control this remotely with a Raspberry Pi and we have successfully done so. I drew out this original plan that I created for this project, which is a Linux controlled remote claw machine that we're working on. For those of you who wanna see a more in-depth video about how I laid this all out, I'll post it in the description below so you can check that one out and understand this complete layout. But right now I wanna show you progress from this specific section. That's right, you can see in the video, we got things moving around. This is being directly controlled from a graphical interface using Linux and on a Raspberry Pi. It's moving things around. The Raspberry Pi controls both the release and the joint moves or the joystick moves, I should say. But it is working very well. I'm glad to report this. We're coming along swimmingly on that end. This is definitely one of the heavily worked on portions. We made a couple changes to the overall project since I last went over it. But a lot of this hardware programming has been done thanks to Soup. And here's a better view of the setup that we got. You can see here that we went with a camera overhead. That way we can get this entire field of view inside the claw machine. This was kind of hard to do, just testing out different cameras, trying to get the right setup. But now that we got this one on the outside, it looks pretty cool. I'm gonna be showing you some of the UI later that we've developed. So hopefully you're sticking around for that. We can also imagine how much cleanup it really took to get this all right. As there was quite a mess of cables already, we added in our own mess of cable between the camera, the Raspberry Pi, and all the IO going between the joystick buttons and everything that needs to control this claw machine. It was quite the task, but we got things running and rolling. It's looking pretty great at this point. The claw machine is fully functional through the remote IO that I've created. I've been focusing on working on some of the server side stuff now and programming the game itself, which of course is no small task as it's been taking quite a while for me to get right. Let me show you a little bit of some of the stuff I've been working on. We've scrapped some stuff as well. So instead of just Twitch, we're actually doing YouTube and Twitch at point. So we're making it work for both streams. And how are we doing that? Well, we are actually communicating to the user through a Discord channel. So in that Discord channel, we're sending messages to users so they can play the game remotely. When it's your turn, you can play. And I wanna say that we are testing this and I do need more testers. So if you're interested in checking it out and being one of the first people to play, you can definitely join my Discord and I'll give you instructions on how to do it. We have quite a few people already testing, but we are looking for more testers so you can be one of the first ones. I just need a few people who are well clued in on how to get software bugs to happen. If you think you're that person, check out my Discord. It's in the description below as well. We're gonna get to Charlie Freak out here in a moment, but now I wanna check out one of the initial times Charlie has recognized all this. So let's check this out together. I think it's pretty cool to see it unfolding live on stream. Is the claw machine working now? Almost. You can see the webcam is set up. So today the one of the engineers was over testing everything. It works fully remotely now. It's fully integrated into the Discord. Now it's just a matter of ironing out a few more things before it fully goes live. So we're, we're at the final stretch. It's actually going to be working <laughs> soon. Only a year late. We made it. We fucking made it, though. We went through multiple different teams, and now we have two engineers that are fucking superstars crushing it. Let's read some JMac. Which is some awesome news. I'm glad to hear that Charlie thinks things are going great. And I personally think so as well. Soup, shout out. You're doing a great job too. We're going to continue going through this. And I do plan on making a few videos on some of the programming, specifically using Linux and the server that I got running and communicating with all this stuff. So if you are interested in that kind of stuff, make sure to smash that like button so it gets out to more people and make sure to subscribe below so you can actually check out that video as soon as it comes out. I'm going to be talking about things like how to get the Raspberry Pi communicating through some IO to actually control things like this. 
how to get communications between the cloud and the Pi working, storing stuff in a database, and even serving it to a client like the browser that you have over here. But anyways, all exciting stuff. All right, here I've loaded the UI up. Now we don't have the video feed currently going, but you can see here we have the game timer going up top. You can end the game, release the claw, and then use buttons to actually move around the claw machine. This is the current UI over here on the left-hand side. We would typically see a feed, but we don't see it right now. No big deal. Game over, and then it searches for a result for that game. Depending on if you win or not, we got all that functionality working. Now, of course, the video feed is not always on, so I'll be showing you that in a future video. But again, enormous progress to have this entire UI working here with the remotely controlled claw machine via Raspberry Pi. So all that stuff is done in the back end. We're working on some tweaks to make the game even better for users, playing with the times, that sort of thing. But now I wanna show you how using this front end scared Charlie on a recent stream. Let's go check that video out. And during the last night's stream, Charlie notices something going on in the background. Let's take a listen. Oh, you guys can hear the claw machine going off right now. That's the engineers tinkering with it. We're close, I'm telling you, we're close. It's not a poltergeist event. <laughs> well, he says it's not a poltergeist event, but we're going to wait and see in a moment what's going to happen. It's on the cusp. You can see us in the background actually moving this thing around. Yeah, you mentioned that, Rin. I looked into that. That's awesome. A little hard to see. It's super bright. So I'm trying to think of a way to make that a little clearer. Because you can still see it. Like, they just... They just dropped claw there, but it is really bright. So I got to so that's not the scary part, but we did drop the claw there. It was pretty awesome. We actually didn't time this at all. We were just happened to be testing the game and all of a sudden uh, Charlie was online. So the viewers got a glimpse of this operating in the background. They went pretty wild. So did we. It was quite exciting as we can finally see this claw machine working live on stream coincidentally. But let's fast forward to the funniest part of the stream. And here it is. Charlie just minding his own business. Yeah, this one's pretty solid. Retro frame, Eladmary, 16 clams. We take those, and then we got this adorable fucking corgi again. But this time it's a foil etched, it's Felia, exuberant shepherd. The fuck was that? Oh, <laughs> it's open. Notice how he freaks out. He's looking back there like, what in the world happened? I thought that actually was a haunted moment there. <laughs> Felia Exuberant Shepherd Foil Etched, $11. Not a terrible first pack. No, it wasn't a poltergeist. It was us. We accidentally hit a cup and it come, came <laughs> and it came flying out of the claw machine itself. That's because the window was opened up. You can see Charlie over here picking things up, putting it back in. Anyways, I guess you can consider that our first win. Either way, I'll take that as a win, and we'll mark that down as the first time scaring Charlie with the claw machine. I'm sure there's going to be more. Anyways, again, testing is going to start soon, so if you're interested in being one of the first play, join my Discord, link below in the description, and ask to be put on the testers list. This is all exciting, and I want to leave you with a thanks for watching all the way through, and hopefully being subscribed as that 50,000 subscriber mark is amazing. Didn't think I'd come even close, but I do enjoy just talking about Linux and programming. This has been great, and I'm especially appreciative to everyone who's following the journey here on this channel. And if you win the game, I'm gonna leave you with this one. You're gonna see this screen at the end. Congratulations, you won. Either way, thanks for watching this video. I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.